Hi, Year 6, and welcome to SCARF again. Okay, now what we're going to do is, as we always do, we are going to have a little rewind. So I'm just going to share my screen with you. So I would like you to have a little think about what we did last week. Our tra excuse me, our traffic light system, our stop, our think, and our go. Okay. I hope you've all submitted your posters and I hope that they are all online, which I'm sure they are. I have seen some, so well done. Okay. So we're going to move on from this this week. Okay. So not just about things online. Okay. We're going to talk about the word drug. Okay. So what do we mean by the word drug? Pause the video here, have a little discussion, have a little think if you want to write down any notes about what you think the word drug means or means to you or the images that it displays in your head and have that discussion now. Excellent. So hopefully you've paused the video and you've had that discussion. Okay. And we're just going to pull this down. So the definition of the word drug is a substance that people use to change they, the way they think, feel or behave. So grab yourselves a piece of paper and a pen and I would like you to write down as many drugs as you can name. OK, pause the video there and have a write down. So today, now you've got your list, this is what we are going to be doing. We're going to explain how drugs can be categorized into different groups. We're gonna do this by working together and communicating because as we know, SCARF is a lot about discussion. And if we were in class, we would be having those discussions in our groups or all together. And why? So that we can understand how to be safe. So last time we did about being safe on the internet, and today we're talking about drug use and how we can stay safe. Another little bit of a discussion for you here. Are medicines drugs? Hmm. Have a little think. Pause the video and have a little think. Are medicines drugs? Right, well done. I'm sure you've got some fantastic ideas and some fantastic explanations and thoughts surrounding this question. So we're going to have a little look. Can medicines be harmful? So if a medicine is a drug, whatever you think, can it be harmful? Pause the video again, have a little discussion. So hopefully these discussions are creating a lot of questions as well as a lot of answers and thoughts around these two questions. Okay. So are drugs always used for medical reasons? What else might someone use, okay, as a drug? So are drugs always used for medical reasons? Why else might someone use a drug? Just pause the video, have that discussion. So the first thing we need to discuss and talk and think about is what do we mean by the terms legal and illegal. Can we divide drugs into illegal drugs or legal drugs? So let's go back to the first question. Legal. The term legal means law abiding, which means follows the law. If the law is broken, then that is illegal. So things are legal, you're allowed to do by law, and illegal you're not allowed to do. Okay, so when we talk about drugs, can we divide drugs into legal or illegal categories or into different categories by themselves? Can we have safe drugs, non-safe drugs? Okay, pause the video if you want to and have that discussion, have that thought. Write down your thoughts if you want to or keep them up in your head. So here we go, medical, non-medical, legal, and non-medical, illegal. Okay, so let's see what sort of drug is alcohol. 
And that's quite a confusing and tricky question, isn't it? So at this moment in time in UK law, what sort of drug is alcohol? Is it medical, non-medical legal, or non-medical illegal? Where would you put alcohol? So it is a legal non-medical drug. So it can go in that section there, the blue part of that circle. Is it ever illegal to sell alcohol to people in this country? Yeah, if you are under 18 and you're consuming or buying alcohol, then you have committed an illegal offence. So it is yes to under 18s, it is illegal. So it can go into the legal and illegal non-medical overlapping section. Because if you're over 18, no problem. If you're under 18, problem. Does alcohol ever have a medical use? What do you think? Where would you put it in our chart? Yes, pure alcohol is actually a very, very handy and very useful thing. So yes, pure alcohol, so pure alcohol, not mixed with other things because alcoholic drinks are mixed with other things. Alcohol is the only very small part of a glass of wine or a beer, okay? Because it gets all those other things added to make it into a beer. But if you take away the alcohol and just have pure alcohol, it's an antiseptic, okay? And can be used to clean wounds, okay? It also, it's also used in products such as mouthwash, antiseptic handwash, um, as an ingredient in some medicines. Often it helps other ingredients dissolve, okay? So it can go in the central section where all three circles overlap. If you want to draw out this chart, you are more than welcome. So that is it for today's lesson, okay? So a lot to think about there, okay? Thinking about our drug and alcohol, okay? Alcohol, it is a tricky one, and there are lots of laws surrounding it, okay? And as we've learned today, there are some really good useful things for alcohol. And as we most commonly know, it's something we can drink. Okay, but not until you're 18, otherwise you'll break the law. Right, well done everyone. And I will see you next week for another scarf lesson and another rewind. And I hope you all stay safe and well. Well done, bye. <laughs>